Welcome back everyone to another video. Now, I do apologise about the lighting. Um, it's not very good at the minute because um, I'm recording this at night time. So, it is what it is. Hopefully it comes up alright on camera. But, anyway, um, I asked obviously, before obviously this video has gone live, obviously what you guys want to see. And one of you, there should be a comment here, suggested about showing off uh, the top 10 most expensive items I have in my collection. So I figured... With all the games I've got, I do the most top, the top ten most expensive games I own currently. So, without too much more delay, um, you should see in the upcoming clips of the games I own that are most expensive. Um, these are all on CEX prices because um, I felt like that was something we all use and is easy to go by because eBay can be very hit and miss depending on condition. But I figured we'd go by the CEX prices, and that's what all these games you see are based on their sell price. Obviously. I could go by their cash price, what they'll give me, but I figured if we just do the sale price, at least you know how much it costs to buy it from them at that kind of condition. So, without too much more delay, enjoy the 10 games coming up of what are the most expensive ones I own. So I'll see you soon. So, number 10 on the uh, list of the most rare and expensive games I own is 40 pounds is what it goes for. But without too much more delay, it is Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, the special edition that comes with Ocarina of Time. Um, I can't remember the full name for this, but I think it's classed as Wind Waker with bonus discs for CX. You see something there of what they sell it for and what it's worth to them. But once again, this one is all complete, as most of my games are in the collection, and this is a great game to pick up. And for £40, it seems to be at a level playing field, minute, but it does keep going up. So keep your eyes on it. If you see it, pick it up. It's a bargain to get. So number nine on the list is a PS2 game, mixed up, and this currently is worth £42. Now I believe I paid 50 for this, so it has dropped in value, but at this current time recording, going to CX, they sell it for £42. So without too much more day, number nine is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Now from memory, um, this on the GameCube and the original Xbox is worth about the same price as well. So. This is number nine list of one of the most expensive ones I own the collection. But yep, still holds up today. Definitely worth playing if you see it. And um, hopefully it does go up, but it seems to be dropping at the minute. So that is a shame. But still, great number nine game. So number eight on the list. Um, originally, um, when I did look, um, it did go up in price slightly. But at this moment as I'm recording, it is worth £42. And... Um, Number 8 is another great game, the Sly Trilogy for the PS3, the HD remaster version. Um, I think I paid £40 for this when it came out, um, and it is slowly going up, and a lot of the HD games in um, on the PS3 do go up, so they are worth investing in. But number 8, classic great game, worth picking up and playing if you see it. So number 7 on the list is another great game from what I've been told, and without too much more delay, this is currently worth £45, and it is... Final Fantasy Origins on the PS1 with manual because that now matters with price of CEX's items. If you've noticed, they've started to include that thing. So with manual, it's worth more. And this is, it's complete. This is the missus, it's not technically mine, but as my games and her games are in the same collection, it's a joint thing. So, number seven, Final Fantasy Origins. And what from being told from her, it's a great game to play. So, number seven, Final Fantasy. So, number six on the list is another great game, and this is currently worth £52 at CEX. Um, and that too much today, we have God of War Collection Volume 2. Um, I think I paid a lot more for this, but I can't honestly remember. But it's another great game that does seem to be going up in value as time goes on. But it's worth picking up, and for the God of War games, still hold up on the PS3 now. So, yeah, number six, another great game, God of War. So, number five on the list... This one's worth £55, and at one point was worth nearly um, £85, I believe, at one point, but it has gone down in value as time goes on. But it is quite a short print game, so without too much more delay, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Um, this is a great game, and it's one I thoroughly enjoy playing. Um, obviously, there should be something about it, a um, little bit of gameplay here and now. I'll try to find something, but great game. This is definitely worth picking up, and it's one to invest in if you do find it cheap. It still holds up now, and it still looks amazing on the PS3. So definitely worth playing, definitely worth picking up. And for the condition of this, is excellent. It, they are getting a bit harder to find as time goes on. But yeah, great game. Pick it up if you see it. One of my favourites. So number four on our list is currently worth £60 at CEX. 
and this is one I picked up fairly recently and it was a game that I've been hunting for for a while and just couldn't find one locally but without too much more delay we have Wario World on the Nintendo GameCube this is an excellent game and definitely worth picking up and playing it um, definitely has been going up in value over the years it's one I have looked at for some time and it has been going up nice and steady so if you do see it cheap or for a reason price it's one I do suggest worth investing in is it does seem to be going up for some reason um, I think it's due to the small print of it or the uh, cult following of Wario now or something but definitely worth picking up definitely a great game So we're in the top three now, and this game is currently worth £65, and I believe I paid 40 for this back in the day, which was, I think, about a year or two ago, but it's one that has been keeps going up in value and does go out of stock quite often. Um, so I'm not too sure about that, but without too much more delay, we have Spider-Man and Web of Shadows. Now, I believe this the value fluctuates on it due to the films that come out and the licensing problems with Spider-Man and Sony and all that, but... This one definitely still holds up. It's a bit strange in places, um, and for a Spider-Man game, it's definitely good, and a lot of people do seem to enjoy it. So, definitely worth picking up if you see it. And again, once again, £65. You know, it's starting to get expensive. So, what will the other two be? You'll find out soon. So, we're on number two now. We're getting close to the most expensive game. So, number two is worth a grand total of £100 with manual, because that makes a difference now, I believe, of about a fiver. Um, without too much more delay, we have Banjo-Tooie on Nintendo N64. This is, in my eyes, class as box. It is complete with the manual. As you can see, a bit hard to tell. I don't want to get out of the box, because obviously what it is, but it also has a little bag for the game as well. So, that re currently retails for £100. Um, I believe I paid £80 off eBay for it a while ago. So I still think this is an absolute bargain for what it is. And Banjo 2 is just one of those games that always seems to be a £100 game. So that's number two. There is a little bit of a mark up there. But it is still classed as box. And it's still an excellent game to pick up and play. If you've got the money of course. Because it is getting there in price. So, the final game, number one. This is currently worth £210 at CEX. And once you see it, you will probably understand why it's worth this much. But many of you may have played this, uh, especially growing up on a handheld console. It might give it away, it's got quite a cult following. But once again, £210 boxed with manual complete with everything. So, without too much more delay, we have one of the gems of the collection. It's more the missus than mine, because she's more into it than me. She grew up playing it. But without too much more today, we have Pokemon Emerald version for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. This is complete. It has, obviously, the box with the insert in it. The box is in excellent condition for the age of it. As you can see, there's hardly any marks on it. Plus, we have the manual as well, the original one. Bit of frame in the corner, bit of wear, but nothing bad. Got the old VO point point system from Nintendo, the safety pamphlet bit, and the main thing, we got the game as well, which as you can see, you know, still got the old holograph on it, it still looks excellent for its age. But yeah, two hundred ten pounds this goes for. And which is absolutely ridiculous for Pokemon games, but as you probably would have known, anything Pokemon holds its value. I don't think it's the most expensive, I think a DS game takes out, but £210 this is worth, which is the most expensive game I own the collection, which still in my eyes is absolutely ridiculous how much these are going for now. You know, I remember when they were not cheap, but, you know, you could pick up this for about 80 quid back then. Now it, it's absolutely ridiculous, but still amazing game, one to play if you find it. And even, you know, if you are going for a, a Game Boy collection or you want a nice grail for your collection, any Pokemon game, the Game Boy Advance, is definitely worth getting. So yeah, banger of a game, definitely worth playing and picking up if you see it. So that's it guys, those are the top 10 most expensive games I own the collection. As you see, we've got the top three there. And once again, we got, so we'll start off from cheapest, we've got 65 for Web of Shadows, 100 for Banjo-Tooie and 210 for Pokemon Emerald, which again, still ridiculous. And some of you may recognize um, Emerald, that was from Elliot, should be something there to his channel. Do go and check him out guys, I know he's not posted for a while, he's got a lot of things going on in life but he's still about he's still alive and well so do stay tuned he has got some ideas coming up for content so i hope you enjoyed the video and it's a bit different um you know if there's anything you want to see i can prove on do let me know once again i apologize for the camera quality 
for some reason at night time recording it just gets a bit hazy and due to work and life and things i just haven't had the time so i do try and get content for you guys it can be a struggle at times but i will try and i do try and keep you updated so until then do subscribe if you're new here thank you for the ongoing support once again and i shall see you next time in the next video at wednesday which hopefully will be a pickup one because i still have a pickup from last week um which was only a four pound game but i have got something lined up which i should be getting when you watch this on wednesday i should be getting it on thursday afternoon friday morning and it's an absolute banger of an item to get and you know we do get it for an absolute steal so hopefully fingers crossed i still get it until then i see you in next week's video guys take it easy Thank you.